news. In summary, I am Ajemi Sise. Great Green Wall for the Sahara and Sahel Initiative for the Gambia and FAOE funded 1.75 million euro African Union project for 20 Sahelian countries has moved a step closer to actualization in the Gambia. National stakeholders in an intervention seeking to create a buffer between the beneficiary countries and the advance in Sahara Desert and Thursday started validating the national action plan that should guide implementation of the Gambia tranche of the project. The Minister of Basic and Secondary Education and more than a dozen student representatives from 18 lower basic schools in Region 2 recently shared an interactive forum as part of events marking International Afflatoon Day. A fraction of Senegal's 5 million odd votes living in the Gambia and in exercise of their right to decide who should be at the helm of affairs in their native country, the over 16,000 Senegalese nationals with voter cards today cast their votes in the Kanifing municipality and in other places. The races between the incumbent Abdullah Wad of PDS and former Prime Minister Marcus Sall of the APR. And in other news, after weeks of intense vote garnering, the two men bidding to be Senegal's next president today cast their ballots in the capital, Dakar. Over 5 million eligible voters are expected to cast their ballots in the race, said to be fairest and most controversial since the octogenarian came to power. Meanwhile, police fired tear gas into crowds near the polling station where the incumbent president, Abdullah Wad, cast his ballot. World reports written GRTS speak of the incumbent president, Abdullah Wad, conceding defeat and felicitating his opponent in the race, Marcus Sal. Calm is slowly returning to the streets of the Malian capital, Bamako, three days after soldiers seized power from President Ahmadou Toumani Toure, whose whereabouts remain unknown. The head of the junta, Captain Ahmadou Sonugu, met with French ambassador and other political leaders to reassure them that he will return the country to constitutional rule after ensuring national unity and territorial integrity. Hardland rebels in the north are meanwhile taking advantage of the chaos to stage more attacks on government positions. The United States President Barack Obama has urged China to restrain its communist neighbor North Korea after Pyongyang threatened to launch a satellite into orbit to mark the centenary of its founding father, Kim Il-sung. The appeal comes in the wake of a two-day summit on nuclear security focusing on means of preventing nuclear material falling into criminal hands. Well, you can also follow that story and other GRTS programs live on our website, which is at www.grts.gm. Then you can also monitor GRTS Radio Live. All that brings us to the end of the news in summary, which also marks the end of transmission. Thanks for the pleasure of your company and have a good morning.